Ottawa, the Bloc Québécois is warning Prime Minister Justin Trudeau that the party's ultimatum to the government still stands after the Liberals voted against a Bloc motion to increase benefits for seniors. They could decide, notwithstanding the motion, to give the Royal recommendation to C319. It's still possible. So let's be fair with our commitment. The bloc's non-binding motion passed with the support of the other opposition parties. Blanchet has given the government until October 29th to enact a pair of bills, or the bloc will begin discussions with other parties to bring the government down. And let's bring in Tom Mulcair, CTV News political commentator and former NDP leader. Tom, good to have you here as always. Good to be with you, Renee. Now, the Bloc's motion passed in the House of yep. Commons. Is this a big win for the party? It is a huge win for the Bloc because they've been pushing something, to steal a popular phrase, that was common sense. Right now in Canada, there's a top-up to old age security if you're over 75 years old, 75 and older. The Bloc was simply saying, let's extend that to people who are 65 to 74 years old. And by the way, even though these are people in parts of the country that know nothing about the Bloc, they became very popular because politicians and media folks that I've been talking to for the past week have all said, look, this is coming up constantly. Seniors want this. So this is a big victory for the Bloc, and it's a big trap for Trudeau. He's being squeezed on both sides. We've talked about the first part before. As they headed into the last budget, the Liberals suddenly learned what everybody in the Conservative Party already knew, which is that he was losing massively the 18 to 35 year old vote. Young people realized that they were going to be less well off than their parents. For example, they had very little chance of ever owning their own home compared to their parents and even their grandparents. So he lost the youth vote. And one of the few parts of the electorate that stayed rock hard, solid with the Liberals was older voters, was seniors. And lo and behold, somehow Trudeau decided to close the trap on himself by voting against this block thing yesterday. Now, it's it's obvious why they're doing it. You know, Polyev loves to say that Canada's broken. No, it's not. But Canada is broke. We're dead broke. We don't have the 15 billion, 16 billion that it would cost over the next five years or so to put this into effect. And it's it's been fascinating to watch. Freeland knows it's a good idea. Trudeau knows it's a good idea. They know that they're going to get pummeled with a key part of their electorate, but they're caught in a bind. And that's uh, ex <laughs> that's why I think this is a very good political coup by the bloc. But what they tend to all forget, whether it's Poiliev or Blanchet or indeed Singh, they tend to forget one thing. The only person who's going to decide what happens from here on in is Justin Trudeau. But I'll make one safe prediction, is that Trudeau's not going to put up with this current situation for very long. The Liberals can keep their fingers crossed that somehow Singh, because the NDP is broke, won't be anxious to, to bring down the government. That might be true, but it's not going to keep going. At some point, Singh's going to have to assume and he's going to have to vote down the government with the other parties. So Trudeau's got different options on the table. One that I've been hearing a lot from senior Liberals is prorogation, suspending Parliament, allowing a leadership race. But you know what? He could go straight for dissolution and his own resignation. So let's see what happens in the coming days, probably weeks. But it, there's going to be a big change in Ottawa. There's no question about that. Interesting. Uh, these moves by the bloc, is that a serious threat to the government? Should Trudeau be worried? Well, it's not a threat they can pull off individually. It takes the three major opposition parties. The, the Greens are in there, but they've only got a couple of seats. So let's talk about the three that have the power to bring down the government. That's the Conservatives, the, the, uh, the NDP, and the Bloc acting together. Because any one of those three, it'll, <laughs> unlikely that it'll be the Conservatives, but certainly the NDP and the Bloc both have enough votes to keep the government in power, to keep Trudeau in power. So that's the key thing that Trudeau and his folks are, are counting on right now. What Blanchette is saying as October, as of October 29th, we're gone. If you don't give us these two things, and clearly Trudeau will not, if you don't give us these two things, we will not support your government. So that means that he's going to start talking to the NDP and put pressure on them. I don't see, because of their current financial situation, I don't see how the NDP is going to be able to bring down the government soon. But I don't think that that, that that you know financial situation is going to improve much predictably in the short future. So maybe Singh can be brought along uh, to do it, but his his caucus is extremely nervous, and I think it'll take a lot for him to bring down the government. Hmm. All right, that is our time. We will have to leave it there. Tom, thank you as always for being here. Good to be with you, Renee. That is Tom.